Today, I am going to create a low-budget Animalese translator. Animalese is the language that's spoken that Some games they use the brr sound as the voice of a game character, but in Animal Crossing, they used a unique language as the brr sound, which is the Animalese. The Animalese sounds differently on every language, because the sound is generated from the sentence. This video is inspired by the video How to Speak Animalese. Basically Animalese are spoke exactly the language it is, but it is being cut and pitch, and being pronounced independently for each letter. Like, Hello World, to Ha A La La O Wa O Ra La Da. After knowing the concept, now let's record the sounds. The original version has the A, I, U, E, O sound for each consonant. But I am just gonna make one for every letter. For vowels, they just sound the same like what it is. For consonants, I am going to add ah after the letter. W to wa, T to ta, F to fa. And for every sound, it is going to cut into half. W to wa, T to ta, F to fa. First type out the list, I also record different sounds for TH, PH, CH and WH. Now let's start recording. A, ba, ka, da, e, fa, ka, ha, e, ja, ka, la, ma, na, o. Now you know why I only make one audio for each letter. After that, we just have to slightly adjust the tempo and pitch and cut them into half. Now let's listen the soundtrack. After we have the sound, let's dive into the coding part. I am using Unity as the game engine, but I am sure you can apply this on any other engine too. First of all, we need an audio clip array to store all the sounds I recorded from letter A to Z with CH, TH, PH, WH, and a bubble sound to represent some symbol in the text. An all sound string array that stores the name of each sound, and make sure it is referred to the order of audio clip array. We also need to reference the speaker, in Unity, the speaker is the audio source. After that, we need a find index function that take in a string, and return an index refer to the string. It looks like this, first take in the string s, then we loop through the all sound array. If string s is equal to the string in the all sound array, it returns the index, otherwise it return minus 1. We can use this function, to translate the sentence string into a list of index numbers. Now let's make the translator function. In the translator function, we have to create an integer list to store all the sound index that generated from the sentence. Then we can use the toChar array function in Unity to transform the sentence into an array of letters. Create a for loop to loop through the char array. If the char is C, T, P, S, W and it is not the last char, we check if the next letter is H. If it is, we merge it into one string, which is CH, TH, PH, WH, and pass it into the find index function, then skip the next letter. If the next letter is not H, just have to pass it into the find index function. Then if it is not C, T, P, S or W, we check if the letter is a exclamation mark or question mark. If it is, we add 31 to the index list, which is the index of the bubble sound. If it isn't, we pass it into the find index function. 
Lastly, we create a I enumerator, which allowed you to use wait for seconds method, we pass the integer list of sound index to the I enumerator, loop through every number in the integer list which generated from the sentence. For each number in the list of index, we check if it is minus 1. If the number is minus 1, which means it could be a space, comma, or an unvalid string, we will add another wait for seconds method, then continues to check the next integer, if it is not minus 1. We played the sound with the given index number, then delay for 0.1 second and continues to the next number. End of the video, if you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, to see more fun content. Thanks for watching, I am going to end the video with KK Sliders singing.